Hey everyone, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and this is an addendum video to the uh, Waves Sound Grid Impact Server demo video I just uh, posted. I want to show you guys uh, real quick uh, the the difference that the um, Impact Server makes on your computer's processor. So um, let's go to the uh, a session I have. There's no audio on any of these tracks. Um, basically what I have is I created 20 audio tracks and I put a uh, a stereo version of Studio Rack on all of the tracks with uh, the SSL E channel channel strip and a CLA 76 compressor not for any particular reason just to show you guys uh, you know uh, that you can put you know multiple plugins on each rack all right and on then I have my sub mix I have what would be a standard mastering chain you know with different plugins Q10 the uh, F6 multiband C4 S1 Stereo Imager, the uh, Greg Wells Mix Centric, which is an awesome plugin, running the uh, J37 Abbey Road Tape, uh, uh, the Nonlinear Summer Bus, and then finally an L1 Ultra Maximizer. As you know, show an example of you know how I might set a session up if I were to actually run, uh, uh, you know. Uh, a mastering session as well through 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 a mix. So all right. So right now, I'm at forty. Well, I just was at forty one percent processing power, running twenty iterations of the studio rack with multiple plugins on each one in a stereo uh, uh, studio rack that's maxed out with eight plugins. For ma mastering purposes, so I'm using almost half of my computer's processing power, you know, for this. Now I'm going to switch off the studio racks to um, the Impact Server, and I want you to guys to keep your eye on my system usage, the totals here on this top. This is my CPU right here. I have a quad-core processor, and I'm going to go to the studio rack. I'm going to click on the processing drop-down, and I'm going to select Switch All to Sound Grid. And right now what it's doing is it is offloading all of the processing from the um, my onboard processor off to the impact uh, servers uh, uh, processing. Just give it a minute. It takes it because there's so many pl plugins, it takes a while for it to offload them all. And there we go. So we're down to 2% processing. My computer processor is completely free to do any mixing I want uh, and I've jumped up to only 20 percent DSP on the impact server so depending on what you, you how you want to look at it I've gained an additional 20 percent of processing because I was using 40 percent of CPU prior to offloading the processing on the impact server. Now I'm only using 20% through the impact and 2% through my uh, my 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 um, computer CPU, basically to run Pro Tools right now. So, all right, I, I thought it was important to show you guys that I didn't show something like this yesterday in my other video. So I wanted to get you guys to see this so uh, uh, you could really understand exactly. How uh, how beneficial it is to have a um, a sound grid server on your computer.
All right. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.